David escaped from Saul with only a few men to help him. He went to Ahimelech, who was the priest in charge of the Ark of God at the tabernacle. The priest said, why are you here? Oh, uh, we're on a special mission from the king. Uh, he's told us not to tell anyone where we're going. We left so fast we didn't have time to eat. Do you have some bread? Well, we have some showbread taken from the altar of God, but only priests are allowed to eat that. This was old bread that they took from the altar when they put new bread there. Priest said, I suppose you can have the old bread as long as your men have kept themselves clean before the Lord. David said, uh, uh, we're on a special mission for the king, so we have all kept ourselves holy before the Lord. So the priests allowed them to have the bread. David noticed that Doag, the Edomite, saw everything. He was the chief shepherd for Saul. David said, we left so fast that we, I forgot to bring my weapons. Do you have a, a sword or a spear that I can use? The priest said, um, the only one we have is, is the sword that you took from Goliath. Uh, you can have that one back, but that's all we have. So David took the sword and his men continued their escape away from Saul. They went to Gath, a city in the, in the Philistine area. They knew they would be safe from Saul there. But then David heard that some people tell the king, Oh, this is, this is David. <laughs> He's the one they sing about. Saul has killed his thousands and David has killed his tens of thousands. Immediately, David started acting like he was insane. Back in, back in that day, uh, people didn't hurt people that were insane because they thought they had an evil spirit. He fell down and started gnawing on the doorposts and letting drool go into his beard. King saw this and said, this man's crazy. Get him out of here. So David and his men went to a cave where, where, where they lived. His um, brothers brought all of David's relatives to him to keep him safe from Saul. He took his parents to Moab because they would be safe in the care of the king there. Soon men started to come to David. These were men who were in some type of trouble or overwhelmed by debt. Soon there were, there were, there were 400 men. David became their leader. While all this was going on, Doag the Edomite went to Saul and said, Ahimelech gave David bread and a sword. Saul called for, for Ahimelech to come and bring all 85 priests that worked with him. He said, why have you helped this son of Jesse since you know he's trying to kill me? Oh, I, I thought he was a, that he was a loyal servant. After all, he is your son-in-law. I didn't know there was trouble between the two of you. Saul turned to his guards and said, kill these men. The guards were shocked. They weren't about to kill the priest of the Lord. So Saul turned to Doeg the Edomite and said, kill these men and everything they have. So Doeg killed Ahimelech, all 85 priests, their wives, their children, 
and even their livestock. Only one son of Ahimelech escaped. He ran to David to tell him everything 